The international guidelines on human rights and drug abuse require countries to place health, human rights, and sustainable development at the center of drug policies. Ghana began its national reforms in 2020 in accordance with the global trend. However, two years after the adoption and reforms, its alignment with development remains a challenge. Yao Akresi Sapong is a former executive director of the Narcotics Control Commission. There's a plant in Ghana those of us who come from the north use a lot for TZ, for stew, Aleifu. It has more THC in it than 0.3%, and yet we eat it. And when this thing was brought to the floor of the house, everybody kept quiet. Okay, 0.3%. <laughs> but that tells you that the law was situated in the reality of our situation. And that's very, very important. It is situated in the reality of our situation. And there was, no. So all those who have been talking about moralism ought to go back to the Leifu and say that should be banned as a food. He also raised concerns on how women continue to experience double stigma from drug usage. We need to break social expectations of the role of women. When a woman smokes in Tampe, it doesn't make her more devil than a man who smokes in Tampe. We think that women can, ought not to be smoking. All smoking can be harmful. But why are we always stigmatizing women for certain roles? I think that is something we need to look at critically. Interior Minister Ambrose Derry assured of government commitment to ensure that drug laws and policies are consistent with international human rights treaties. The government of Ghana is committed to ensure that drug laws and policies are consistent with Ghana's obligations and the international human rights treaties that Ghana has ratified or acceded to. Accordingly, we must develop measures that will improve health, safety, security, and socioeconomic well-being of the people by reducing drug-related harm, illicit trafficking, and associated crime. The dialogue brought together experts from the UN Human Rights Office, the United Nations Development Program, UNAIDS, the International Center for Human Rights and Drug Policy, and the International Drug Policy Consortium.